Hey there, welcome back to Full Field. Sharing content is an essential engagement activity that moves the sales cycle forward. By bringing together a powerful digital content library and a built-in CRM system, you can unlock more engagement insight and value from every single piece of content you share from Full Field. In this video, we are going to learn how to easily find and navigate through your Full Field content, how to share your content, how to view real-time engagement analytics from the content you share, and how to instantly connect with someone viewing the content you shared with them. We recommend watching this video through once and then following along as you watch it a second time. The skills we cover in this video will accelerate your sales engagement and enable you to engage more people at once with greater effectiveness. To make it easier to navigate this video for future reference, here is a list of timestamps that indicate when each topic will be covered. Without further ado, let's get started. Quickly and easily finding your sales content in full field. When you need to quickly and easily find sales content, rather than digging through your library folders and your My Work folder, you can use search and filters. To search all the content you have access to, type your search query in the search box. If you're still unable to find what you're looking for, use filters to filter content by various parameters. To learn how to customize the content keywords for your full field account, check out our previous video on managing your full field account. Set the filter and only the content with that filter will appear. There we go, found the content I was looking for. Sharing sales content in full field. You can share any content you have permission to access within your full field account. This includes all the content in your My Work folder, along with content you have access to in library folders. Once you find the content you are looking for, you're ready to share it. To share your content, click the send button and a pop-up will appear. The share options we cover in this tutorial apply to all the content you share from Full Field, no matter the content type. There are two ways you can share content using Full Field. Either you can generate a shareable link, as you see here, or you can send an email with the content attached directly from Full Field. Let's cover the shareable link first. The text box at the top of the pop-up is a link you can share, and underneath it are several sharing configuration options that you can tweak before you copy the link and share it. If you want to be notified via email when, a, when the content that you've shared is viewed, select the Notify Me When Content Is Viewed radio button. For custom show content, you will have the option to autoplay content when it is shared. This option only exists for custom show content types. If selected, the recipient won't have to manually navigate through the slides but rather the custom show will automatically play through all the slides. You can request for the viewer to enter contact information in order to view content by selecting the required contacts field that you would like them to enter. When viewers input their contact information, it will be captured within your full field account within the contact list as a part of the built-in CRM. It's a very convenient and powerful integration. I personally like to require first name, last name, and email so I know who's viewing the content that I share, but more on that later in the video. If you are sharing content on behalf of someone else, you can toggle the user here. And finally, there's advanced settings, where you can restrict the access of content by setting and requiring a password, by expiring the link after a certain amount of days and by toggling whether or not the content shared can be downloaded. You will notice the link to share in the top here changes as I change the configuration options. When you are done, you can either copy the link by selecting it from the text box or click the get link button to copy it to your clipboard. You can send this link as is over email, in any messaging app, or even in meeting chats. One thing I like to do when sending it via emails is to hyperlink the text with the link on it so that it doesn't appear as a long link. You can also send an email containing the content directly from Full Field 
using the send email. First, enter who you'd want the content to be shared with, then enter a message. You can toggle the same share options that you did when you were just creating the link below. And once you're done, go ahead and click send. Engagement analytics. Any content you share from Full Feel will capture real-time engagement analytics. Real-time engagement analytics inform you whether the content you shared was viewed, how long it was viewed for, and for particular types of content like PDFs or custom shows, how long was each page or slide viewed for. To view this engagement data, click the Contacts tab in Full Field. By default, a list of all your most recent engagements will show up. You can sort through the engagements in this list by clicking the Sort dropdown or by adding filters or searching for particular individuals you've shared content with. To get more insight into what took place during that engagement and any previous engagements, click on the item in the list that contains the contact that you're interested in. Here, all the contact details full field is captured, along with the history of a person's engagement, will show up. You can edit any of the contact information and add descriptions and notes. Below the contact information are important data points that give you a history of the person's engagement, including a timeline of how long you've engaged the individual and how many days since the first time you engaged with them, the number of touch points, amount of content they viewed, how much of the content was forwarded, and the total amount of time spent that this contact has been engaged. Scroll down further and you can see an incredibly in-depth timeline of each engagement, including the exact pages or slides the person viewed during that engagement session. This data not only gives you a comprehensive understanding of the person you're engaging, but is also very actionable when deciding who you should spend your time engaging with. To begin capturing the best engagement analytics, require users to provide at least their email and preferably also their first and last name when you share content as we discussed in the last section of this video. This is the cherry on top, the creme de la creme, the showstopper, and the engagement tool of the future. I'm of course talking about Instant Connect. Instant Connect can only be used when a viewer is viewing content you have shared. This is an important point in any engagement lifecycle. It's when the buyer is thinking about your offering, learning about it, and actively engaging with the information you provided. With Instant Connect, you can get face-to-face -face with this buyer. Let me show you how. In the Contacts tab, if a buyer is currently engaging with content you shared, the item on the list will be highlighted. Click on the contact and a new view will appear. In this view, in the top right, you can see the content that the viewer is viewing in real time. To the left of that is a chat box where you can message the viewer who's viewing your content and that message will appear on top of the content that they are viewing. From here, you can take this interaction to the next level by video calling the viewer through the content they are viewing using the connect button on the right hand side. This will allow the viewer to either connect with you over an audio call or a video call. Once you click connect, be sure to allow permission for the browser to access your mic and your camera in order to make an audio or a video call. Hey there, how's it going? What can I help you with? It looks like you're taking a look at the full field offering. At the top of the Instant Connect dashboard, there is the Details tab. This lets you see all the contact information you have stored within your Full Feel account on the user you are engaging with. So while you're having a conversation with them, you can understand all the other pieces of content that they've engaged with in the past so that you can have a productive discussion with the engaged participant. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video on how to engage customers with content sharing using Full Feel. If you learned something new, 
be sure to click that like button. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop a comment. And to stay up to date with the latest full feel and digital selling tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.